Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some fun secret updates that were changed in the newest April update. So season 15 came out, and it was kind of a small update. We had season 15, these new drift effects, and that was pretty much really all that was added. We also got these new shorelines that make it so you can drive up any piece of water, which is super helpful. So if you ever fall off while doing power plant, like you're going across this bridge and you fall off, then you can go instantly back up and you won't lose any time. But there were also some other changes that weren't really announced, but I have found that are pretty interesting and I want to share them with you guys. So first off, we're going to start with a little terrain thing. This has been changed. If you didn't know, if you're a new player, the train tracks used to start here before the Crater City expansion. Then they were changed and there used to be just a tunnel here with train tracks kind of still in the ground as a fun little easter egg, which I thought was really cool. It didn't really do anything, but it was still a cool little easter egg. But now, the tunnel is completely gone, so it's not just not there, which is kind of sad because I really loved that easter egg of having kind of a past era of jailbreak in there. Anyways, moving on, we are going to look at some car details that were updated. Now, cars now have an idle engine sound. Cars like the NASCAR and the MCL36 already had these. As you can see, if I turn my volume up and then I get in. There it is, you can hear the idle engine sound, and that's been in the game forever. But new cars are actually getting their own custom engine sounds. Like if we go and we spawn the Parisian, it has its unique, very loud startup noise. And the same thing with the NASCAR and the MSO36, like I said. And actually, the new Shogun has a startup sound, and I'll put that on screen right now. But anyways, what I want to show you is here, I'm going to take a really old car, here's the Mighty. Now let's turn my volume all the way up, and if we listen closely... Now this is really interesting because it doesn't happen on every car. I know it happens on the Camaro, I believe the Deja, and pretty much, like, and a lot of cars. But one car that I've observed that doesn't have this idle engine sound is the Lamborghini, and I can't hear the idle engine sound. So it's really weird how different cars have an idle engine sound now. So hopefully in the future we'll be getting a lot more engine sounds. Alright, moving on, we are going to go down to the crime port. And this is something that people have been asking for for a really long time, and that is the semi-truck spawn. The semi-truck now spawns right next to where you would drop off a crate when you rob the cargo ship. I think that this is a really fitting spawn, given that it's a cargo truck and we're literally at the cargo port. Also, if you didn't know, if you don't have the Mobile Garage Game Pass, you can actually spawn this just like you could with a Camaro or a pickup truck, so you don't have to own the Mobile Garage Game Pass to spawn this. So, I don't know, it might be getting removed that you can spawn this without the Game Pass, and you might actually have to come over to the spawn now that there is one. Also, this isn't really an easter egg, but kind of, I guess. Uh, the Camaro in here is the old style Camaro. It doesn't have any interior and it's not revamped or anything. It's the old style Camaro, the first Camaro. All right, now we're gonna talk about some fun terrain changes. As you can see here, there is kind of a new road slash path right here that goes all the way to the power plant. And also, if we drive over by the gas station, train tracks go to this bridge, there is another path where you can go up from here and get on the bridge. So there's both ways you can hop off the bridge and you can get back on the main road if you somehow end up over here. Really cool because if you ever wanted to get from the city to over here just quickly, you would have to go through the water, but now there's a cool little pathway and kind of a dirt road that you can go on. As you can see, there are a lot of these little dirt roads. They don't really change much but they're still there and are pretty neat. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Those are all the secrets in the new update that I found. I hope that you thought that they were cool too because I thought that they were cool, especially the new semi-truck spawn. I think it's just a really cool spawn. Tell me what you think down in the comments and I will see you all later.